welcome back to my Minecraft city. Today, episode 3, I'm going to be showing you how to build this lovely airport. I would say this is a small airport, enough for maybe a plane to come in and a plane to go out. Um, and the train station's just there, which we built in a previous episode. Now, this train station has got a tunnel that goes over across to the airport. And as we go over this airport, you can see we've got a runway as well. Now, the only things that I'm not going to show you how to build is the aeroplane and the luggage carrier down there. Uh, these are builds from um, other YouTubers, so I'll put the link in the description so you can build them if you want to. As you can, as we hover over, you can see the layout of this train station and we're going to go down and I'm going to have give you a quick look around. Now when this video was filmed I hadn't quite finished the inside so you can see some of it and in the next episode I'll show you the rest that I've done. So if we go through the main doors there's two ways you can get in. There's through the tunnel from the uh, train station or through these front doors and as you can see we've got a check-in desk here as I'm from England, I thought I'd use a couple of English companies, so you might recognise as Virgin, EasyJet and Tui. And this is where you go in, you queue up and you check in your baggage. Give them your passport and then if we grab a minecart with a chest in it, I will show you. So we put the minecart with the chest in it. And we push it along and that's our bag checked in. So next we want to go to the security. Uh, so where you've got like in the airport you go through like the metal detector type things and you put all everything that's in your pockets to be scanned. This is what this bit is. So again there's another little queue bit because you always have to queue at an airport. You go through the metal detectors once you're through. We've got a little McDonald's here and a seating area and then a little newsstand. And then through here we've got some toilets. So we've got women's toilets. They're just standard toilet, sinks, hand dryers, that sort of thing. This one's got mirrors in it. Um, and then if we go back through we can see there is a, a male toilet as well but that's exactly the same as the females if we go through here this is where the luggage arrives so where we uh, put our bag in checkout um, it travels to here so in here we've got the luggage carrier just here in the middle it's quite big and then we've just got random luggage around and yeah that comes from the check-in area so if we go back through um, and if we then they will need to go upstairs which takes you to the terminals and duty free so this is not done yet but it will be by the next episode that will be duty free and then if we run along here once we turn this corner, there'll be more shops there. Once we turn this corner, there'll be seats and waiting areas in the terminal ready to go on the plane. And then we've just got this that goes straight onto the plane. Now, like I said, I'm not showing you how to make the plane. Uh, so this won't, this little tunnel from the door won't be there when I've built it. Okay, so if we go back through the other end the other terminal end, there's going to be a pub at the end there. So what, if you've ever been to an airport, you'll know there'll be loads of shops and things before you actually go into the terminal to wait for your plane. So if I show you the other end of this, uh, this airport, there is a section where you would come back from a flight. So you've landed at the airport and you get off the aeroplane. Oh, let me just show you in here quick. So this set of stairs takes us up to a control room. So I've not finished this yet. But as you can see, most of it's made out of glass. And that's so that they can see when the planes are coming in and out. And if we go back 
down. All right, let me just zoom through here and go up the stairs so I can show you how it works. So this is not the way you would come if you got off a plane. You're going to go all the way through without trying to show you too much. So this, cur this is where you come off the plane. And you come off the plane and there's like a little waiting area, seats and stuff. So if you need to sort yourself out before you go through border control. So this is where they check your passports before you come back into the country. And once you're through border control, there's more seating areas. And then you go down the stairs to luggage reclaim. And this is where your luggage comes back off the plane and you can collect it. Again, more seats, seating areas. And then through here is, is uh, nothing to declare or to declare, depending on which way you want to go. So there's two ways you can walk through there. And then you come out into the main bit where you can go up, go out and go home. So now we're going to start the airport. If you like this tutorial um, and you want to come back to the next episodes, please like the video and subscribe because um, I think this is going to be too big a build to put in just uh, one episode. So there'll probably be a couple after this, um, not including what I've already done for the, the train station. So we're going to start off with the road in between the train station and the airport and we're just going to um, take out seven rows all the way along to build the road. Now I've only built this road to the end of the train station uh, but obviously it depends what's in your city on you can extend that further. I'm going to extend mine further so it connects to another road going into the city. Uh, but like I said, it depends how your city is laid out. That road can go lead off to wherever you want it to lead off. So for the purpose of this video, we're just going to do it to the end of uh, the train station. So once we've emptied this out, I'm going to fill it in with light grey concrete, although I'm not sure that looks right. No. So I'm going to fill mine in with uh, granite because in this texture pack that I have on, that's quite a good road material and all my other roads are built with it. So I'm just going to uh, fill it in with granite um, and then we're going to put the lines in the middle so it looks like a road. Like I did in my other videos, I'm just going to speed up some of the m monotonous bits like filling in and doing roofs and things like that because you don't want to sit here and watch me do that for hours. So the road is finished um, and we're going to, in the middle, there should be a middle point because it's seven. You've got three blocks one side, three blocks the other side. What we're going to do is we're going to do um, wherever you want really, but all you normally do two blocks granite two blocks white concrete two blocks granite two blocks white concrete and this gives you the white lines on the road um, so it looks like a, like a proper road So that's the road done and now we're going to do the pathway uh, that's outside of the airport. So from the edge of the road we're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we're going to grab some 
smooth stone and we're going to fill in this area with smooth stone So we're going to do the same as we did for the road and dig out this whole area level with the road and just fill it all in with smooth stone. Now we're going to do the doors of the airport. So we want these to be level with the train station doors. So if we go over to the doors from the train station, um, we'll just take that line all the way over to the end of the pathway. And then from here, I'm going to grab some doors and put them there. So that should be level with that one. And then the other door there. I'll see that door's the wrong way around. There you go. Let's put it the right way around. And then there's going to be four sets of doors here. So we're going to get some white concrete. And we're going to put white concrete either side of that door. Then it's going to be another set of doors. And white concrete. And then on the other side of the first door that we did, there's going to be a, another set of doors and again, white concrete. So I, th I think that's the amount of doors. Yeah, so we're going to um, put white, build the white concrete up and over the top of these doors. So I think we're going to add one more set of doors here and that's going to go on the left side. So if here we add another two doors and then the concrete around them like the other three. So there we have four doors. But if we want to be technical about it, we say eight doors, four openings for doors. So on this left side, we just want to dig out one, two, three, four, and fill that in with white concrete. And we're going to add glass panes on top. Now these glass panes are going to go all the way up to the top, along the top of the doors, and on the other side as well. So next to the white panes of glass, we're going to put two white concrete and build it up by two, three, four, five, five high. We're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Dig out one, two, three, four, fill them in with white concrete, put your line of glass panes, and then we're going to put two white concretes and build them up by one, two, three, four, five. So five high in total. So you're going to have something like this. So like I said before, all of this is going to be glass. 
panes you can use glass panes or glass blocks whatever you want to use I've used panes and we're going to put these glass panes all the way along the top and all the way down the other side as well So you should have something that looks like this. So you've got your four doors, two pillars, and the glass in between. So then we're going to come over to this left-hand pillar, and we're going to count back one, two, three, four. And on the fifth block, we want to place a concrete, white concrete. We're going to build that up by three, four, five, and we're going to do the same on the other side so from the outer side count back five so it's going to be four spaces in between it's going to be five high so now we've got this main entrance we're going to go to the right hand side i'm going to count back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five Thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty. So that's white concrete blocks. So if we turn around, we're going at the side towards back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then turn around and put three on and then out towards the back again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty now along the back of this we want one two three four five six seven eight nine and then going back on ourselves towards the front we need another one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then we're going outwards by two and then back towards the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So level with the front, we need another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then we're going to go towards the back again. One, two, three, four, and then here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so towards the inside, this is where staircase is going to be. We're going to have another four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's just where a little staircase is going to be. So carrying on from this end, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to miss a gap, and then we're going to go along this back. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. 
Then we're going to leave a gap forward and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And again, this is another staircase. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then from where we left off, it is three blocks and then a concrete. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then inwards towards the front. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we need it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Towards the back, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then inwards 2. And then out towards the back again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So these should be level with the other tower, the other side. Okay, across the back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we're going back towards the front, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Then we go 3 outwards, 1, 2, 3, and then back towards the front, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now this should be level with your doors now. So we're just um, connecting back towards the doors. So this should be 50 as well, the same as the other side. Feel free to pause the video at any time. Um, it might be a bit quick for you to follow. So just pause it as you do in each section and that you'll find that a lot easier. I know what I do. So like I said, this should connect right up next to the doors. And it does. There we go. So this is the shape you should have. Um, it's like two L shapes connected in the middle. Well, one L, one backwards L connected by a square in the middle. And you can see we've got a section there for the two stairwells, one that goes up to duty free and the terminals and the other one that goes up to the uh, control room. So this one, we're going to need some more white concrete. And we're going to go over to the right corner um, as you're looking at the airport. And we're going to add on some more white concrete. So one, two, three, four, four white concretes. Then we're going to add some colour. So in here, I'm going to pick some purple concrete, although it does look like a dark blue in this in this texture pack. Um, the colour is completely up to you. What you want, to, what colour you want this to be. Um, so purple concrete, and we're going to add one, two purple concrete on top and then we're going to add white one two three four and then another two what blue uh, purple concretes even then we're going to do that in every single corner so one two three four white concretes two purple four white concretes two purple that's going to be every single corner
So now we've done that, um, we've done every corner. The only corner we haven't done is this little internal corner here where the stairwell's going to be. And we just want to do the outside corners. So there we go, you can see the staircase corners on the inside I haven't done. So from the first corner that you started at, we need to extend this purple concrete. And we need to extend this all around the build. So connect the purple concrete from this corner to the next corner um, and so on. So like I said, every single place there is purple concrete on the corners, we're going to connect them up with the next corner. We're going to do this all the way around and we're going to do it with the top concrete, uh, purple concrete as well. So now we've connected all the blue con uh, purple concrete up even um, on the first layer and the second layer. The same, uh, the, the bottom layer, we don't connect up where the stairwells are on the first one, but we do on the top one. And this is because there's going to be a lot of glass there, so we don't really need it. If you have put it there, don't worry for now. You can just take it out when we get to that stage. So now we're going to do the bottom floor of the airport. I'm going to start from the bottom right hand corner of the build at the front and we're going to work our way round to filling in all of the bottom and then all of the top. Uh, so it, some of it's repetitive, it's the same on each uh, side in between the pillars, um, but some of it is slightly different depending on what's going to be on, in, on the inside. 
So if we go to this uh, right hand corner and get some grey concrete and we want to build, put the dark grey concrete on the corner. So we're going to build it right up to the top. And then this two at the front here. So it should look like from either side you've got two grey concrete. And these go all the way up to the top just to give the build a bit of texture. I find the airports look a bit boring and concretey, so I'll try to make this look a little bit more interesting. So where we've just put this grey concrete, we need to get our white concrete back out again, and we need some glass panels. And we're going to put a line of white concrete in there. Then with our glass panels, we're going to do three up glass panels and then we want white concrete along the top. So we're basically lining this out with white concrete um, before we put the glass in. So let me just check. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten bits of glass then white concrete on the end and that's going to connect up to the blue concrete and then we extend the white concrete at the top so this is a window so the window is outlined with white concrete so you just fill this window all in with with glass panes or glass blocks whatever you decide you want to use I do like glass panes, I do like the look, but they are difficult, more difficult to place than, than glass blocks are. So that's your first window. And then with our dark grey concrete, let me just check that's the right number. Yeah. Okay, and with our dark grey concrete, well, white concrete, we're going to put another two layers next to it. Now, in front of where we just put these two layers, we need to add grey concrete, and this is going to go all the way up to the top. Now, where you come to the second lot of blue, we can fill that in with white concrete at the back as well, because these are in between windows, so you don't, you can just fill that in now. So that goes level to the top and again we're going to do another window and we're going to layer the outside with white concrete with glass in the middle. So here we do a layer of white concrete and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 across the top and then connect that to the bottom and then we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bits of glass and they're three high so you just fill in this window here with glass panes. So <clears throat> moving on to the next place, I've got to put two blocks of white concrete up to the top and then where we've put that white concrete we're going to put two grey blocks in front and that again goes all the way up to the top and where you've got the gap between the two blues we put some white concrete behind that and then bring the, the grey concrete all the way up. So here we're going to put a layer of white white concrete up to the blue. Three glass panels. Well, no, put the, we'll put the white concrete at the top. So I think that's 11 again. And then we connect that down to the bottom. And then we can fill it in with our glass panels. It's exactly the same as the other windows we've done.
it's almost finished with the right side of the uh, of the bottom of the build so again we're going to add two white concretes up to the top and then we're going to add the gray concrete this is going to go right up to the second lot of blue same as the other two um, and uh, oops yeah gray concrete all the way up to the top and behind this gray concrete on the second story the white concrete to fill that gap So exactly the same. You'll see a pattern. There are going to be mostly windows on the front. There is a section that doesn't have any because that's where the toilets are. Um, so we don't really want any windows there. And mostly at the back end of the build as well, we haven't got any windows um, because it's behind the checkout area and you it's mostly windows at the top so this one's only got uh, six panes in it but we need to add the white concrete um, on the end so you've got that border of white concrete again um, actually I think that's five panes one two one, two, three, four, five. Five panes of glass in the middle to make this window. So this is a lot smaller window than the others are. And it'll be the same on the on the opposite side. So now we've come to the door. We're going to put the grey concrete uh, nearest to the, the big glass panels near the door. And we're going to build this all the way up, same as the others we have. Uh, with the white concrete on the top section at the back. So as you can see, you've got all them big grey concrete pillars in between the windows. So that's the right hand side uh, windows bottom half filled in. So we're going to come to the left hand side and we're going to add uh, two grey concrete, one that's level with the po the end corner and one that's just over. This is going to do the corner grey part and we're going to have another grey round the corner here right up to the top. It's exactly the same as the other end. Okay, so if we come round to the front bottom, this is where the toilets are going to be. So most of this is going to be um, filled in. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And put a grey block on the 13th. And then we're just going to fill in all the way to where that grey block was at the front. So all of that is just going to be filled in. Okay, so that's all filled in now. Uh, let me just double check. That's the right spacing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, that's right. So we're just going to build up this grey concrete post. Again, exactly the same like the others that we've built up. Behind that we want to put the white concrete at the top end of the build. Okay, so that's the first part of the left hand side done. We're going to move on to the next. This is pretty similar to the other side. The rest is going to be windows with the concrete posts in between. So uh, um, we're just going to fill that side up with white concrete. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then down with the white concrete, and then we just fill that in with glass panes.
moving on to the next section we're again going to be putting another two white concretes there so we can put our um, grey concrete pillar and again the white concretes at the back at the top And then we can come to this window. So we're going to put white concrete on that side. And then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Bring the concrete down to meet the bottom. And then we're just going to fill that in with glass panes. You're probably going to get the gist of this now. Uh, we're going to add two more white concretes there so we can add the grey concrete at the front. Two grey concretes all the way up to the top. And the white concrete behind the grey concrete on the top floor. <coughs> This last window should be fairly easy. It's going to be f uh, five glass in between, but first we need to put a row of white concrete on the left hand side and across the top. And then we need the grey concrete next to that window, all the way up to the top. run out of night vision right yeah so yeah the, the white concrete at the back again you probably got this by now um, with the concrete pillars and then we need white concrete up that side and then just fill it in with glass So that's the whole of your front bottom floor now filled in. So now we are going to go round the side. So we're going to start on the left hand side. Most of the bottom sides is just filled in with white concrete. Um, but I'll guide you through this all anyway. So, again, like I said, this side is mostly just white concrete, but we are going to put some grey um, concrete posts around like we did the front. So we're just going to fill this up with white concrete. All the way up all of this front first section okay so on this corner oh, I need to dig a bit out um, we're going to do the grey posts like we did on the other corners so it's two grey posts well three grey all the way around the edge of the just make sure I get this in the right place. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, grey round the edge, three grey round the edge of that. And that goes all the way up to the top, just like the others do. Then this little corner bit, we're just going to fill in with white concrete. This is all going to be um, where the toilet area is and then this side bit is going to be the back where the luggage area is. So no windows needed here. There is going to be an open part of the back where the luggage carrier comes in and out. 
Um, so yeah, this goes all white concrete. So before we fill this area too far, I just want to count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And we're going to put a black, uh, a grey block on the 16th and 17th. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep. Yeah. And the grey blocks are going to go around this corner. So just carry on filling this in with white concrete we've marked out where our grey posts are going to be you can do these grey posts whatever colour you wish same with the whole build really it's up to you what colour you want it to be I've got texture pack on so your um, materials might look slightly different to mine if you do exactly the same So where the grey, you've marked out the grey uh, concrete, just build that up to the top like you have all the other posts the side, on this side and on the corner. So around this back bit, we just want to mark out where the middle is, which I think is these two blocks here. And because this is where the entrance is going to be for the um, luggage truck. So I think we're going to take off, just add two white concretes all the way up to the top. Okay, I'm going to put the concrete around the corner. So the three blocks of concrete to go at the corner like the other side. And I think that looks more... So we've got the two concretes. Well, I've got concrete across the top and to that side and I think that's about right just two either side one two one two and then the yeah okay we'll do three three either side or not yeah two either side and then the so that's, that's three white concretes either side and then the, the grey concretes in front so that makes it look like two that looks a bit better so again build this up all the way to the top okay and on this side we're just going to fill all of the bottom in white and where the grey concrete is on the other side we are going to um, put that post there so 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, on the 13th and 14th block again is that right? let's just do it from there so we've matched it up, made it level that should match up with the bottom. And it looks like it does. Yep. Okay, so the rest of it is just going to be white concrete at the bottom. No windows are in this side. And all along the other side. Um, 
the corner bit there's going to be a concrete post on the corner like the other side and then the rest filled in with white concrete on, on this side. So down here we're just going to take one block out there as that's going to be where the luggage goes in. We can fill the other areas in in white concrete and that hole is just going to be too high. I'm going to add the concrete pillar on this edge as well. So it's just three around it's three around to make it look like there's two on each side So I've already filled in the first back panel all in, in white. So you're going to fill this corner in all in white. Basically, the whole back bottom is all white apart from this bit here. And this is where the staircase is going to be up to the second story. And then there's one exactly the same place opposite on the other side. Um, so they're going to have some glass panels in but if we just build up this concrete corner grey concrete corner and then we can move on to this grey part so it's not all going to be glass um, we're going to do it sort of uh, going upwards like following the stair pattern so we're going to have three four five one two three four five five glass panels then we're going to have the rest of that row white concrete blocks next we're going to have a glass panels all the way along and then on top of the first white concrete block and then the rest of that row is concrete blocks and then we're going to go up like that. So every time we go up one, the glass is going to be on the last concrete block that we placed. So we're going up in step motion. So if we just finish that off, and then the last one is going to be there with the glass. And then the rest, the whole of the rest is filled in with glass panes. minus this very top which has the white concrete um, but yeah the rest of it is just panes So that's the side where the steps are, the glass. Uh, we'll just change that to a blue just to make it in line with the stripes. So then this side is just going to be white concrete. Um, as you notice, there is a gap at the end. This is where the luggage comes out of the check-in area. Uh, that's just going to be too high. Um, the rest is filled in in just white concrete like so and on this end we are going to have all of this is just filled in white concrete because this is where the check-in desks are and where the luggage will go through um, so there's no need for windows here either
Again, this side is just white concrete minus the two high um, gap for the luggage. And then on this side, we're going to do again the win the stepped window. So we've got one, two, three, four, five panes, white concrete block, it's all the way along, and we're doing it up in steps. Exactly the same as the other window. We'll put the blue on there as well that matches up with the stripes. And then we want to build the glass upwards and along the top we're going to have another row of white concrete. So this side is all white again, all white concrete, and again this side as well. I just forgot we needed to put the grey pillars on this side. So on the corners, the grey pillows, pillows, pillars. Pillars, pillars, <laughs> whatever that word is. It's definitely not pillows. Okay, and on each corner, let me just set this to clear. Yeah, and again on this corner, we need the grey pillars, pillars. I think we are going to put some grey pillars in between them as well, but I think we'll do that a bit later. So we put the grey pillar on the end of where the staircase is as well. carry on with this wall and just fill that in with all white concrete. So we've built up the rest of the back and the start of the side, where well, the next side. Um, we we'll put the concrete posts on the corner, and in this section we are going to build this up with white concrete as well. But we are leaving a little too high gap down the bottom because this is going to be the baggage collection. Um, so the baggage is going to be put on to the uh, row, rovate what's the word the roll oh, I can't even think of the word turning conveyor belt where you pick up your luggage and that will go through the wall and round where people can collect their luggage so this is just all white concrete um, we've got the gate grey even, grey concrete on the, on the corners again um, and we've also got a grey concrete in the middle somewhere but we'll just fill this back end with all concrete and all around the sides as well. And I think that'll be about it for today's episode. We've done quite a lot of the build, well we have done a lot of the build, we've done all of the build and most of the bottom side so i hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe for the next episode